Hey guys. Hey guys. Welcome to my uh, TARDIS review. Uh, this is a uh, this is one this is a TARDIS that I paid for personally. It's the George Metro Box TARDIS by George. He's a cool guy, and uh, this TARDIS is pretty cool because like oh, the line this one's kind of fucking around. Uh, this TARDIS is pretty cool because like. It has a special it has a special gimmick. Let me whip out my stick. It has a special gimmick. Uh, you see what it does is um, you see the exterior. It's a police box, right? It's a normal police box. But when you open it. But when you, when you open it. That's right. It's a it's a regular police box, and uh, it, when you step inside it, that's right. It does regular police box things. So you uh, close the door. It's very tricky. You close the door. You crash because you get stuck, and uh, that's it. You can open. All oh, right. I'm gonna mention that later. You can open the door. You can, you can open the door and, and get out. And uh, you can lock it so that you can get you can get someone inside and you can trap someone in it. And, and you can lock it and you can trap them inside. Well, you can't really trap them inside. I'm about to get to that. Well, first, let me go over one more feature this thing has. Is when you press the C menu and you click on TARDIS, you click manual flight control, and you just can you just fly this thing like you would fly a regular TARDIS. But it doesn't have any sound. The sound for this, the flying, is not included in the. It's not included in the, in the mod. I checked. So you won't get no sound when you fly. But you will. You can do this. Shit, let me. You can do this. You can set destination. Okay, let's set destination for the. For the, for the, for the top of this building. Yeah. Alright, so now now we set destination for the top of this building. Hi, I'm Hasin Miku. And and now when we click It demats fast as fuck boy That's the other gimmick with this thing. It's it's like an escape pod. You can you can get in if you ever get cornered in your TARDIS you can spawn it in. Select your destination and get the fuck out of there as fast as possible. And uh, it'll give you some time, but I'll hold it for a few seconds. Let's wait a few seconds. We're in the vortex. We're in the vortex now. I think this timer is random because it's not usually this long. But now, you can do that immediately. And you can open the door. You can, get, you can open the door, you can get out. And it's, uh. It's pretty key now. Now. Now we get to the problem at hand here. Well, obviously that's a rendering problem. But uh, here's a ma pretty major problem that kind of prevents this TARDIS from being too useful. It's that, uh, I did this earlier, it's that um, you can walk through the doors. You can walk through the doors and fall into the skybox and now you're, now you're in the skybox or whatever the 
hardest places you want the map when you get inside it and uh, and that's not good you don't want someone to be in the skybox they could they could uh, do a what the fuck is that they could do they could do a, a, a weird in the skybox so you wouldn't want that but that's okay because you opened it and uh, it's normal now it's fine but that's a you can just walk inside it you can di you can just fucking walk inside it the doors they are not physical you can literally just walk inside the police box and you can open it from the inside but that's pretty much a, that's that's a that's a big major oversight I think I think if George fixes this I think this could be action and another suggestion I asked George if he could like put a telephone here where the, where the sign is so that you can use it to actually like deem at or select your destination or maybe maybe you can use the phone as just a flight mode and then you can deem at in flight mode so if he just fixes the doors and he adds like an actual button to enter flight mode then this is a this is a pretty pretty great uh, 10 out of 10 TARDIS uh, what, what TARDIS again